another tutorial. Today we're going to download and install Windows Virtual PC and download and install the Windows XP mode. Then we're also going to install Factory Talk View within XP or the Virtual PC so that we can convert our 32-bit Factory Talk View programs so we can use them in our 64-bit system. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, Microsoft and they're going to download the Windows Virtual PC which I've already done. These links will be in the description so you can just follow them from there and then we're going to want to download Windows XP mode. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already, Like I said I've already downloaded these so we'll go ahead and start with our installing Windows Virtual PC. Alright, now it's saying that we're going to have to restart our computer so that the updates can take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll continue that after. Okay, now that we're back we have Windows Virtual PC installed and now next we're going to add the Windows XP mode. So, which I've already downloaded. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run the file. Select next, it's going to install it here. Go ahead and click next again. Now to install XP mode for the Windows Virtual PC. Some of this may be saying wrong, but we're installing it. Then we're going to open it up. Then we're going to install Factory Talk View on it. The older version. Alright, we'll go ahead and finish it. And then we'll go ahead and go and fire it up. So you go down to your Windows Virtual PC, open up, and we're going to go ahead and select XP mode. And we're going to accept the license and terms. We're going to go ahead and give it a password. Okay, so now it's going to set up Windows XP mode for the first use. This will take a little bit, but after this, I promise you it goes faster. Alright, so now, now that XP mode is up and running, we're going to go ahead and wait for all these cool things to stop popping up. All right, now that you have your XP mode up and installed, I made a couple changes to the video, and we're going to use Factory Talk View 6.1. Factory Talk View 6.1 has both the 32-bit operating uh, SQL Server and the 64-bit server database, so that we can actually just back up the project into an APA and then uh, restore the backup into a version that we're using today of 9.0. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy uh, your file wherever it's at off your disk or you can go ahead and run through and go to your disk and do it. And this, in this one we just copied our file so that has Factory Talk View 6.1 on it onto the desktop here so we can install it. So we're going to want to go up to Tools and we're going to disable the integration features. This will require you to use your password that uh, you set up when you started setting up your XP mode. So I'll enter my password now. Now the integration features have been disabled and we have our Factory Talk View 6.1 in here. We can go ahead and open it up and start it. Now if you disable them before you put this in here, you can't work between the two. So if I try to copy this runtime file over here and paste it, it won't paste. Well, maybe it will paste. Oh, okay.
all right so now that you have uh, your run the you disable the integration features let's go ahead and open up where that file that you have factory tech view 6.1 and we're going to install it now I'll end up fast forwarding through all this so that you don't have to uh, deal with the whole setup but there's one thing it's going to do it's going to put in an update patch on here for you so when you start it and you go to install it's going to ask you to update uh, a hotfix so we're going to go ahead and select next agree next and let it work its deal out All right, log in using your password. Okay, now we'll be ready to go ahead and install 6.1. 6.1, I probably already said this, but it utilizes both databases, and you're able to make a backup, and it'll actually work out well, rather well. A lot better than what I was going to start out with. All right, so we'll go ahead and install the Factory Talk Services platform because I want to do the update. And so it says that they need all these uh, installed, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, after that long pesky install, now uh, I ran into a problem with the activation server where I couldn't activate the software on here. So I went ahead and I copied my licenses from my normal desktop here and copied them into the shared documents uh, Rockwell activations so they're right here so as you can see when you highlight over it this is hot disk serial number 1ADC F780 that is the hard that's the hard drive serial number so you're gonna want to change the hard drive uh, serial number on your virtual uh, machine to match the one that you have from your desktop. So in order to do that, I went online and I found uh, uh, a serial disk number changer. I can't remember exactly where I found it, but it's pretty easy to find. You just search it up, and it's hard disk serial number change changer. Uh, you'll open it up in in here, and you'll get an error because it's going to try to read the A disk. So you just go ahead and switch that to C. And I already changed this number, but you would just take that, delete it, and then change it to the number that that you have, um, that your desktop is. Excuse me. I guess right here is probably where you can find it. I'm not. I don't remember where I got it, but once you change it, you have to restart it, and then you can go and copy your licenses in there, and then they'll activate so that you don't. Whoops start it again so that you don't have any issues uh, when you go to use the software okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, restore this runtime file but I already did one so I'm going to go to the application manager and I'm going to delete this file so you can see it I wanted to make sure everything worked so we're going to go ahead and delete application I'm going to go ahead and test for 64 yep we'll get rid of it now we'll go back to our application manager again if you don't know where to find this programs uh, Rockwell Software, Factory Talk View, Tools, and try your Application Manager. Open it up, go to Restore Runtime Application. Uh, we'll select it. I have it on the desktop. You may have it somewhere else. Um, we're just going to use the runtime app. We're just going to restore the runtime application, and I'm not going to select the one with this. You can enter a name, you can change the name we want it to be. We're going to leave it the same. We'll finish. It'll do its thing, do its magic. Now we can go ahead and open up Factory Talk View Studio. And we're going to go ahead and uh, open up Test for 64. It says this was made with 5.10. We're going to continue to open this application with version uh, 6.1. It's going to be converted to a new version. That's what we want. So we'll select Yes. Okay, 
Okay, now that's open, uh, we can open any displays that remain. I don't know if I made any. Okay, so we converted it from 510 to 61. It has everything that's supposed to be in here. Um, I didn't add any parameters. We can add a new one just so you can see. Um, PLC refers to, I'm sure, as you already know, it's the device shortcut name. So, I'm going to close it. Yeah, we'll save it. Give it a name. Let's we'll call it Para. Alright. So, now there's parameters in here, too. Close all this out. We will go ahead and close this application. And we'll go to Tools application manager we're going to make a backup application of test for 64 and we are going to put it on the desktop that's where we want to stick it so we don't easy to go get it real quick so desktop works for me click finish all right should have a backup backup on the desktop where is it? Right here. So, what we're going to do is we have our uh, integration features enabled. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the original. Yeah, we'll copy and replace it. I don't remember having one out there, but it is. So, we'll do the same thing. We'll copy this one. We'll throw it on the desktop here. Alright, so basically we are done using XP mode. So, I'm going to close it out. Hibernate, whatever it's going to go. And we're going to open up our Factory Talk View, which in this case we're actually using 9.0. And you'll notice 9.0 starts a lot faster. So we're going to, this is, we can import or we can make a new one based on an import. We're not going to do any of that. We don't have to do all that old other old stuff we used to have to do. So we're going to cancel this. We're going to go ahead and go to our application uh, manager again. And I'm going to show you the difference. So we're going to restore a runtime uh, application. I'm going to select next. Specify it's on the desktop. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you what it looked like if you brought a 510 in and tried to use it uh, without going through the steps we did on converting it and adding the set. The It'll have a 32-bit uh, SQL database and a 64-bit SQL database and it's only in version 6.1 that's factory talk view so yeah we'll go ahead and leave it this name we'll finish it we'll do the same steps we did earlier when we brought it in but the only difference we're going to find is that when we go and actually open it that's going to give you an error Alright, we're done here, so we're going to go ahead and go to open. And it's on our applications for existing. So here it says it was made with 6.0. So we'll go ahead and open that. Now here it says the target HMI is a legacy project. Factory Talk View 6.0 or earlier. So it wants us to use the legacy tag database conversion utility. Uh, so that it goes to 6.1 and old for opening on the 64-bit operating system. Uh, so it won't let us open it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our application manager. And we're going to delete this application because that's the error we got. That's where we open up our virtual machine. Um, we got to close this out first. So what we'd have to do before is... We go to. We need to do is go to the uh, virtual machine, and then walk through the steps that we just walked through prior. Make a backup .apa file, and then we can restore that. 
application by using the restore option or you can just double click it so I'm gonna since this is already open we'll just select restore an application where you want to find that that is on our desktop that's this one here so that's the path and where it's gonna go and get and restore from and that's the name it's gonna use you can change it if you want we'll just leave it this name it's gonna go through this Similar steps as it did as as from restoring from runtime. But the only difference is this time I had both databases and it was actually able to open it up without having to use a legacy tag database conversion tool and then import the program. Um, skips all those steps. So it's a faster way to do it. I know it was a little slower on this tutorial because I went through and uh, installed everything but so here's our same application now we're gonna go ahead and open it up as you can tell now it's created with 6.1 so we'll open it up and this time it's gonna ask us or tell us that we need to uh, convert it to 9.0 so this is made of 6.0 and it's gonna be converted to 9.0 so we're gonna go ahead and select yes and now it's gonna open it up so we didn't have to do use the legacy tag database conversion utility So if you remember before we threw some parameters in here so there's our parameter file so all the parameters were saved and then our display shows that it was working here now if you want yes you can still create uh, the runtime application to go backwards all the way down to that version that you were using so I hope this helps you um, it, out it, it sure helped me and uh, another colleague out when we had to do a whole bunch of panel upgrades so it was just a quick tool I found that was able to help us out and I hope it helps you out uh, I appreciate you guys watching don't forget to hit that like button and uh, the subscribe button to stay up to date on our upcoming newer tutorials to help you guys out again thank you for watching you guys have a wonderful evening